Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize the median in a list in Tableau. So before I jump into Tableau, let's just refamiliarize ourselves with the concept of the median. I've run a quick search here in Google, and as you can see, according to Investopedia, the median is the middle number in a sorted ascending or descending list of numbers. I like that they also added this and can be more descriptive of that data set than the average, right? Um, we're not going to be covering the differences between average and median in this video, but definitely think it's an interesting topic. So let's jump into Tableau. And what I want to actually show you first is the endpoint where we want to get to. So here I've got a list of customers, customer name. Um, you can see at the bottom here, we have 560 marks. And this is sales. So the list is sorted by total sales for this given period. And if we scroll down, you can see the numbers, the sales figures are going up. And then we basically hit this point over here where we've got the median, that middle point, go back to our definition, the middle number. And what we've also got here is the bottom 50% and the top 50%. We've got our median in the middle. So how do we create this in Tableau? So there's quite a few steps. So let's go through each of them um, one at a time. So first is basically I'm going to drag my dimension onto rows. And I'm going to bring in whichever me measure I want to look at. So I've brought in sales here. And I've sorted the list ascending by sum of sales. Okay, not too difficult. And I'm going to get this list over here. Okay, the next thing I need to do is basically rank all this, rank the values in this list so I can calculate essentially how many um, rows I've got here. So there's a few ways that this can be done. For this video, I'm just going to do sum one. I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to do add table calculation. I'm going to do rank. And I believe I need to do unique table down. So if we now just add these two values, let's add that there. Get rid of sales for a second. It's actually a bit messy. So let me drag this up here do discrete okay and now we've got a rank and we should go all the way down to 560 cool so we can kind of use this little um, table calculation to help us out with calculating the you know to build a formula that's basically going to find us that middle spot so this is really the, the trick is to use the rank uh, table calculation so I played around with it a bit earlier and I came up with the following calculator field which I'm going to include in the description below uh, so you can just copy paste it and save yourself a lot of time so I'll go over this in a second but nice another little trick is you can just double click on this table calculation Control A, Control C, and that's going to give you the, the formula that's being used for this rank. So just to show you, it's this rank unique someone. So if we take that and we do if rank unique someone is equal to total. So we want the total count distinct of customer name in this table, in this view, basically. And then we're dividing it by two, right? Because... The middle point is going to be essentially 560 divided by 2 would be the 280th ranked record. Okay, and that's going to be equal to our median. So I do if rank is equal to total divided by 2, that's the median. And if it's smaller, right, then that point, it's going to be the bottom 50%. And basically what's left is going to be the top 50%. So once again, if rank unique someone, 
that's that's this rank here is equal to the total count of customer customer name in the viz in the visualization in the sheet and we're dividing that number by two that will give us the middle point that's going to be our median if it's not the median else if we check again if based on the ranking is smaller now than this middle point that's the calculation for the middle point that's going to be the bottom 50 percent and if it's not the median and it's not the bottom 50 percent it's going to be the top 50 percent right so we've got this calculated field and we can now drag this onto color okay that's going to give us the color coding and if we scroll down just do a quick check there we go so lisa again 0.280 so which we what which is the middle point what we expect and then we have the top 50 and the bottom 50 so we look we're looking good we can now drop this because we don't really need that and lastly i just like to add circles and i'm just going to extend it out a bit by the way, to move this to the right hand side, you're going to click on labels and just align right with your value. By default, it'll be like this. Um, well, actually, that looks that looks OK. So by default, it might look like this, but uh, we can kind of, you know, either align put the alignment to the to the right not sure why it actually works now without me aligning it to the right but it's what i did earlier and it seemed to work so we can scroll down now we can see the little color you might want to change the color template so it sticks out a bit better um, but anyway this is how i would visualize the median in a list why would you want to do this well with a list like this, I might not be so valuable, um, but I think there are other use cases where you might have um, a, sh a shorter list and you're kind of breaking up segment or country. If you were looking at like global sales, things like that. Um, I like to also use, you could use the same method to do kind of like um, a Pareto distribution. Uh, there's probably easier ways to do that though. I like to use the running sum and running percentage of total uh, calculator fields to do that. So anyway, don't want to get too much off topic. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. It does help to spread the word and get the channel in front of more analysts like yourself. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.